Hi, my name is Gary Brown, and I'm Vice President of Technical Services with AMVIC. At AMVIC, one of our goals is to provide innovative, energy efficient, and comfortable expanded polystyrene insulation products. Today's webinar is designed to help shorten the learning curve working with AMVIC's insulated products to make your experience a much better one. Also pictured is Marty McCartney, our Field and Technical Support Manager, and Vadim Novak, our Building Science Specialist. Today we will be talking about AMVIC's products that can be used under a concrete slab. We will cover tools, accessories, and materials, as well as the installation process. We will go into more detail with Ampex and AMRED installation process, as they are a more unique product and sort of new to our product. The introduction. Why insulate? There are many reasons why one might want to insulate a concrete slab. It could be solely a building code requirement. It might be energy saving comfort, or a combination of all of them. What you see in front of you are three diagrams of a typical basement slab at the footing. The most left diagram shows a completely uninsulated wall. The middle one shows a more traditional finished basement where under the slab insulation did not go over to the footer. This sometimes happens due to poor planning or lack of understanding. On the right, you see a fully insulated and finished foundation with the proper location for the under slab insulation to be at. What you're seeing here is a thermal gradient overlay on top of the details from the previous slide using a heat transfer analysis software. The darkest purple is the coldest temperature while the light red color is the warmest. The first thing I'd like to point out is that in the middle diagram, where you can see a large area of green color, which is which roughly correlates to about 10 to 15 degrees Celsius temperature. The second thing I'd like to point out is a diagram on the right, which shows a fairly consistent light red color, which correlates to approximately 20 degrees Celsius, which is much warmer. The point of this comparison is to show the impact of adding insulation under your slab, but also to show that proper insulation techniques is crucial as it can impact both the occupant's thermal comfort, the surface temperature of the floor, as well as energy efficiency, heat loss around the perimeter. AMVIC has a wide range of insulation products that can be used in a variety of locations for residential construction. Typically, interior slabs such as basements or slab on grade should always be insulated. Garage slabs are generally not insulated. However, many consumers prefer to have a heated garage slab and hydronic heating is an ideal application for this Driveways and walkways are mostly only insulated when using hydronic for snowmelt application. There are additional uses for insulation that are more common for commercial or agricultural applications, which include workshops, hockey rinks, hospitals, places of worship, barns, cold storage facilities, and warehouses. For some of these applications, there is a need for just the insulation value, like in a hockey rink, for example, where other applications, the slab would only be insulated when used in conjunction with a hydronic system. AMVIC has a wide range of products that can be used for under slab application. Starting on the left is EnviroSheet, which comes as a rigid sheet insulation board. It is plain, high density foam. Silverboard takes the EnviroSheet and adds a plastic film on each side, giving it additional strength as well as a vapor resistant property. The smallest member of the family is Ampex, which comes as a two by four fully molded panel with a unique pattern for hydronic application. On the right is Ambrad, which is our newest addition. It comes as a four by four panel, also fully molded, also with integrated film, similar to that of Ampex. It also has a geometric pattern, but unlike Ampex, the pattern is on the bottom of the panel. This panel is designed to be part of a radon mitigation system. All of these products come as type two foam or higher and are referred to as high density for ease of understanding. For below grade application, especially under a concrete slab, you will wanna make sure you're using the right type of panel. All of our products are tested and certified by QAI testing laboratories. They provide a third party testing and quality control for all of our products. There is a whole suite of tests that our products undergo, such as compressive strength, R value testing, water absorption, flexural strength, water vapor permeance, density, air permeance, and more. Our EnviroSheet and Silverboard product lines also have surface burning characteristics since they can also be used and installed above grade. All of our listings are available online and can be found directly on the QAI website. 
We're now going to go over the products in a little more detail. As I mentioned, EnviroSheet is a high density rigid foam board made from expanded polystyrene or EPS for short. It comes in many different variations and thicknesses ranging from half an inch to six inches. The R value range is from four to 4.4, while compressive strength starts at 16 PSI and goes up to a 60 PSI. Thickness, R value and compressive strength are all proportionate to each other. As one increases or decreases, so do the other properties of the board. For under slab application, the most typical board you will see are either two or two and a quarter inch for an R10 and generally 20 to 30 PSI. Typically the boards have square edges. Shiplap is possible, but only available as a special order. We have a data sheet and installation manual available on our website for easy viewing. We constantly work to improve and add information so our documents get updated frequently. Silverboard is essentially the same material as EnviroSheet in the core, but has laminated plastic film on both sides of the board. There are also metallized coating between the film and the EPS core, giving it some reflective properties, but that's more applicable to above grade application. The boards range in thickness all the way from again, one half inch to six inch, similar to EnviroSheet. It has similar compressive strength range, and the main difference there is there is no 60 PSI variant, but the R value is a little higher when compared to the respective EnviroSheet variant. The double-sided lamination gives the boards improved strength as well as the vapor barrier properties. Since the film is plastic, taping the seams is extremely easy as long as there is no dust on the film. Keep in mind that in order to use silverboard as a vapor barrier, the tape also needs to have vapor barrier properties. We have a few variations of silverboard products with slightly different properties and applications, and we have separate data sheets for them. For below grade application, the data sheet you see on the screen is the one you should be looking at when looking for information for your future project. For those with a keen A, you may have noticed that our installation manual looks very similar to the one we showed two slides ago for EnviroSheet. And if you thought that, then you are correct. They are indeed the same. The rigid board installation manual is the same one for both Silverboard and EnviroSheet, since in many cases, the two products can be interchanged. If you're looking to do something, but not sure if Silverboard or EnviroSheet would be the correct choice, that information is not covered in the manual. Feel free to reach out to us and we will do our best to help you. Now, Ampex. Ampex is a different product. It is a smaller panel, not a full size sheet, only two by four. That dimension works quite well, especially for basements, as it makes moving the panels down to the basement much easier. The panels are either 30 or 45 PSI. The higher density is geared more towards commercial and industrial application with heavy machinery or equipment. The most typical board is the R10, which is three and three quarter inches thick. Each half inch e increase in the thickness yields an R2 increase in the R value. The highest R value being R16. These panels are designed to speed up and simplify the installation of PEX piping for hydronic application. They can also be used just as regular insulation, but that doesn't really make sense as the cost of the panel versus the thickness. You can see that Ampex also has a plastic film on the top of the panel. This film is slightly different than the Silverboard one. It also functions as a built-in vapor barrier. The panel has four-sided interlock, which allows the film to be continuous, and generally you do not require a separate vapor barrier. Check with your building official to be sure. Again, standard data sheet and quick and simple installation manuals are available on the technical page of our website. The next product we'd like to talk about is AMRAD. AMRAD is a recent addition to our lineup. This product is designed to go specifically under a basement slab or a slab on grade in houses where there are issues with soil gas, such as radon. Without going into too much detail, radon is very harmful to humans and can greatly increase the risk of lung cancer depending on the exposure duration and concentration level. The 4x4 AMRAD panel is designed to be installed as part of a system that can evacuate the gas from under the slab by depressurizing it. That's what the channels are for. The pattern style, shape and ratio of the void to solid are very unique and were designed to provide the strongest panel while maintaining the needed void percent space to be on par or better than four inch of crushed stone or gravel. For high risk areas, generally, the local building code would have some extra requirements for the slab. There are simple test kits available for radon in case you might think that you are in a higher risk area.
Amaret comes as a four by four panel available only in R12 and R16, which are three and a half and four and a half inches thick respectively. Amrad also has an integrated film on top, which functions as an air and vapor barrier with Ampex four-sided four style interlock, but unlike Ampex, does require the seams to be taped with approved tape in order to maintain its performance. Amrad can also be used in both retrofit applications and new construction, but one would need to be mindful of the thickness of the panel to ensure there is no issue with the height, door sill, etc. AMRAD also has its separate data sheet, which includes information about some accessory products that would be needed for installation. We do have a dedicated installation manual go that goes into detail about the various installation requirements, which we will partly cover later in this presentation. This slide is essentially a summary of the key aspects of all the products I've just mentioned to you to allow for a quick comparison. In some instances, the product can be interchanged, but ideally we try to provide the best value product for the correct application. This way you get a streamlined installation process that is simple and clear to follow while providing all the benefits of an insulated slab. One important thing to keep in mind when trying to figure out what thickness and virus sheet or silverboard is needed for a given project is to remember that the stated R value is measured in one inch increments. That means to figure out the total R value for any Enviro sheet or Silverboard product, take the desired thickness and multiply times the R value per inch. This can also be done in reverse to figure out the thickness if you know what R value you're trying to achieve. Again, if uncertain, please feel free to contact us. We'll be more than happy to assist.